Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to uh, show all you guys this uh, storage facility, which I've been using throughout 2021, since around April. Um, I'm here in Socorro, on North Loop, near Horizon Boulevard. And uh, this is the national self-storage location that, uh, like I said, I've been using since um, earlier this year, since around April of 2021. And uh, I rented two, originally just one, but then I doubled it up to two small indoor um, storage units, which I'll show you right now. Each one was 49 bucks a month. Everything here, by the way, is uh, very clean and safe and very, very secure. 24 hour access. Now, uh, like I said, I did indoor units. Um, so let me show you right now. These, these are all the outdoor units. There's many of them. This is just one row of them. There's many, many, many of them out here. Now, I don't know if they're vacant, but there is many. So, but this is one of their indoor unit um, facilities here with the little five by five units. And um, I had units, by the time I checked out this at the end of this year, I had unit 444 and 445. So if any of you guys live on the east or far east side of El Paso and are in need of storage, that is this size. Um, this might just be what you're looking for. One of the reasons I liked this uh, little unit was that even though it's only five by five, you know, depending on what you're doing, that could be plenty of space for you. But if you need more space, all you have to do is what I did is go to Walmart or Sam's Club or Home Depot, or whatever, buy some plastic shelves. And I put a shelf here, there, and there, and I just built up. And the ceiling is relatively high. And um, <clears throat> I was able to pack this little storage room up with way more than had it just been just stuff on the floor. But I ended up needing more space. So I went ahead and, as you can see, this is 444. Let me zoom out here. Then I went ahead and I rented a 445 as well for another 49 bucks a month. So for about a hundred bucks a month, um, and that's bottom line, there's no tax or anything from what I can remember. It was just 49 uh, each. So for about a hundred bucks a month, I had these two units together. Um, while well, I, I was looking for something that was closer to where I live. Because this is in Socorro, which is definitely close to where I live, but it wasn't, you know, 100% perfect, but it, it did the job. It was a, this is a good storage place. If I lived in Socorro, I'd probably stay here. Um, so yeah, I had 445 as well, which was another 5x5, five five, as you can see. I, you know, same thing. I had shelf, 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 and I just stacked everything up all the way to the ceiling here. And between those two, I was able to store a lot of stuff. One thing I want to show you guys and why I really like this uh, storage facility, I don't know, I don't think the outdoor units have this, or maybe they do, but I can show you for certain that the indoor have this, and that is this um, <clears throat> this light here, which uh, looks like an LED. Now that might seem like something trivial or simple, but a lot of storage places, they don't have that. Um, a light on the inside. So I thought that was a really big deal. I really like that about this storage place is that they put lights in the units because a lot of storage places, I mean, it's not that big a deal because I just buy LED lights, portable LED lights on Amazon or wherever. But when you have a light fixture like that already set up, it makes things way more convenient. So that's that's a big plus in my opinion. Um, oh, 
everything here is electronic. I forgot to mention that. Uh, all the locks, like, for example, this isn't even my unit, but if you press it, that red thing, it's all operated by smartphone. So since I'm not the owner of 420, um, there's no way I could get in unless I literally was a burglar trying to break in because the only person who can access this electronic lock is the person who's renting it and they have to use their smartphone with, there's a special app that you download when you become a, a tenant of this storage place. And once you have that app, that's how you're able to unlock the lock. So you have to literally walk in with your smartphone. You can't leave your phone charging in the car. Um, I, for some people, that might be an inconvenience, but for others, that might be a convenience because they don't want to carry keys around. So, But the reason I mention that is because there is no other option, um, at least from what I could see. I, it looks like all the units in this entire facility um, are all electronic like this, so you can't even, you know, do the traditional, you know, lock and key method, even if you wanted to. Everything's electronic here. You have to have a smartphone. You have to download the app. There's no other way to get into your unit without it. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. As you can see from this big camera, there's you know, very good security. Um, <clears throat> this place is always kept very, very clean. Um, there's no craziness, like, you know, people living in storage units and stuff like that, which, believe it or not, in other cities around the country, I've, I've seen stuff like that. And, um, you know, this is a very, very quiet, well-run facility. There's nothing like that going on here. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing much more for me to say, except I had a a good experience here. It was a good, good uh, business. The lady here is very nice. The lady who runs it. Um, <clears throat> again, these lights inside. I've always really liked the light. Um, speaking of lights, let me take my light that I paid for. Um, but yeah, good storage facility, good value for what it is. Like I said, all I did was the five by five units. I don't know exactly what the prices are for anything bigger or outdoors or anything like that. But as of right now, you know, December 23rd, 2021, if anybody's looking for two small storage units or one small storage unit, as of right now, there's two available. Each one's five by five. They're 49 bucks a month each. Um, storage units, for some reason, around El Paso have been really hard to find. I know that personally because I've been looking for storage units uh, throughout the year. It was very, I was very, very lucky to get these. Um, <clears throat> so if anybody does need storage and you're watching this, and this interests you, I highly suggest that you call as soon as possible to try to get one or both of these because I guarantee you that somebody somewhere is going to snap these up. Uh, this place is always packed. It's very little vacancy, especially after COVID for some reason. I don't know if everybody's moving or or what's going on, but storage units are in high high demand, especially after COVID, so... Uh, oh, and one last thing is that uh, this storage unit is uh, very convenient to the post office. The post office is right next door. That's one of the reasons I also really liked it. The Socorro, Texas post office is right next door. So that's one other plus about this this uh, facility. All right. Like I said, uh, the lady who runs this place is uh, very nice and very professional. And uh, if you have any questions, you can give her a call. And this is the National Self Storage on North Loop in Socorro, Texas, uh, near Horizon Boulevard. And um, <clears throat> very, very uh, 
well run, very quiet. The neighborhood around this place, you know, very quiet, very secure. I've I've never seen any craziness or anything like that. It's it's actually kind of rural, um, very boring. Um, and yeah, the facility, like I said, very secure, very high walls, um, <clears throat> and of course, twenty four hour access. But again, keep in mind that this has this place has no keys. It's all electronic. So. That's uh, that's how they do things here. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, two storage units available as of December 23rd, 2021. And uh, you guys have a Merry Christmas. Talk to you later. Bye.